Here are some instructions on how to download and operate the uh, TI-84 emulator. And uh, you can either go to the links on my web page or if you want to type it in directly. What we're first going to start with is the TI-84 operating system. So uh, I'm going to go here, TI-84 plus operating system. And it will take me to a page, the uh, Texas Instruments page, looks like this. And so uh, the model that we want, again, is the TI-84. If you were looking for a TI-83 or some other model, you could, again, search for that. But if we go to this link, it uh, has this license agreement, and you can read through, but basically it's copyrighted and so on, but we're getting it from the TI uh, Texas Instruments site, so it's legit. And uh, declare our humanity, I'm not a robot, and then accept the conditions. And so um, I'm going to continue as a guest here. And I have now just downloaded this file. And that's uh, sitting in my downloads folder, which I'll go back to get later. So next I'm going to go to Wabbit Emu. And this is a site which uh, has the emulator itself. And if we take a look here, we can see we've got the uh, TI calculator emulator, TI 8384, and so on. And uh, I can uh, ask it to download, so I'm going to click here. And now I get this pop-up window that asks me if I want to uh, run this executable file. And I will run the file because I'm willing to run the risk there. So we get this new screen, and I want to create a ROM image using open source software. So I'll click that and go on to the next. And the uh, emulator that I want is for the uh, TI-84+. Plus. So I will select that, go on to the next. And uh, this download OS files from TI's website. So we do have OS 2.55 MP. I believe that I want to actually, though, browse for the file that I downloaded because that file came directly from the uh, Texas Instruments website, and so it's going to be the most updated. So when I browse this, I will go into my downloads, and here it is. So I will select that file, and now I'm going to finish. And finally, I'm going to save this on my desktop as a TI-84 emulator. So we can go ahead and save. And there it is. So now what we see is something that looks just like a, a TI-84 calculator. I'm going to pull it up so I can get to all the buttons. And once again here, pull it to the center. And whenever I click buttons, so for example, I can clear this. I'm going to click clear with my mouse, and then do some operations such as 13 times uh, 4.79. And, and when I want to uh, get the equal sign, I hit enter, and it gives me the number. And again, I can perform a number of different operations on that. If I want square root, you can see here the square root is in blue, so I'll use the second button and hit this, and that'll give me the square root and then I can put a number inside that radical. So, for example, if I wanted to perform the square root of uh, 58, I would put 58 inside, again, hit enter, and that would give me that root. So you can play around with the calculator. One thing I would encourage you, though, is that if you plan to use it soon, that you not close the calculator, but that you minimize it. One of the glitches from the most recent version is that it's not easy to uh, reactivate the calculator by just clicking on the desktop icon. And um, if you're not able to get it uh, running again, you would need to essentially uh, run the executable file again in order to make the calculator active.